A good potting mix always play a really big role in growing any type of plant. And in this video, we will talk all about making the best potting mix for plants using very simple ingredients. So keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. First of all, it's important to know what type of potting mix do plants really like. There are a few requirements that you should must consider. First is the drainage system of your potting mix. Because a waterproof mixture never let the plant to grow healthily. First, the plant go under a stress condition and after a while it starts to fall. Another thing should be looseness of your potting mix as it promotes a more consistent growth of roots. Fertility of your potting mix is also important because end of the day plants have to grow using the nutrients. For making such potting mix, you need a few very easily available ingredients that are added in the description box. You can buy from there. We will make two different soil mixes. First for our mature plants and other is for our seeds and cuttings. This is because seeds and cuttings are more sensitive to the mixture you are growing them in. So let's make our first mixture that is for growing any type of regular plant. Like you can grow flowering, fruiting, indoor and outdoor plants in this mixture with very less leaf problems and more growth. First ingredient in this mixture is the sand that is very well known to make soil loose and well draining. But it dries out very quickly that can cause an underwatering condition. So to adjust the thing, I am going to use coco peat in this. Coco peat holds some moisture and makes the medium very soft for the roots. The another ingredient in this mixture is the simple garden soil. Make sure your soil is free from pest and fungus. For that you can dry it out in the sun for a few days. And to add nutrients in our potting mix, we can use cow dung compost. As it is a very useful thing to provide nutrients. A complete guide on some very beneficial benefits of cow dung is added in the description box. Must check it out. Take all of these nutrients in similar ratios, mix well and here is our potting mix ready to use. Using this potting mix promises a good drainage that ultimately reduces the chance of yellow leaves and flower door problem. It contains nutrients so the roots can grow well. You can use this for transplanting your younger seedlings or mature plants. But for a ready to use potting mix for your plants, you can buy it from the description box. The next potting mix is for growing seeds and cuttings. First ingredient I am using here is sand. Make sure you are using construction sand because sea sand is not good for growing seeds. I am also using a small amount of soil as it is very useful to make our mixture rich with nutrients required at the early stages of growth. For keeping the moisture at an ideal level, I am using coco peat because it is available very frequently and it also works really well. Just make sure you are using the right ratios. For the nutrients, you should use cow dung as it is high in nitrogen that is very beneficial especially at the propagation stage. So here we have all our ingredients. They are similar to our previous mixture but ratios are changed because they works even better. Mix them well and here is our potty mix ready to use. This mixture gives you a good germination rate and better root growth of cuttings, so must use this. For a commercial seed starter, you can buy it from the description box and check out this video here for making a succulent soil mix at home.